Before I started going to the pool, I used to run. 5Ks, 10Ks, it didn't matter. Not how fast I sprinted, not whether I came in first. It was like trying to outrun my own shadow. But it's not my shadow I'm running from now. It's his. And he was running long before I was. I said turn off the engine! was a getaway. Bad news. Step on it, Jay! See a thing out there. That's the idea. Cut the engine. Christ, I can't believe this. <sighs> We're alive. That's something at least. You get the wood dumb for, right? We could still go to the cabin. How? On a magic carpet? Half the damn state's looking for us. And if anyone knows it's there... Cops will be halfway to Devil's Gulch before they realize they're not following us. The cabin's off-grid. Bear never told a soul about the place. We don't know that for sure. It's a huge risk. Well, Jesus, Tyler, we gotta go somewhere. Ma's right. The cabin's the safest place we got. Nobody asked you. Hey, don't talk to him like that. Look. You got away. Can you let me go now? Shut up. Rob the sheriff, bust to Mexico, fuck, Ma! <sighs> All we do is cover up one mistake with the next one. We left Dale lying there. We just... We just left him. Why don't we talk in private? Keep an eye on him. Now, I know none of this has gone like we planned. And what happened? To hey, oh, unlock the door. The what? No, I can't. Right Come now, on, man. This could be my only chance. If Tyler sees you, he won't if you hurry. Come on. Please. Go quick, before they notice. Thank you. And, uh, hey, about Yellowstone? It's fine. I know I'm never going. Never say never, okay? What the? Are you nuts? They'll hear it for miles. How'd he get the door open, huh? Tyler, it's spilt milk. Let's just get moving. Yeah. We're heading for the cabin. We'll be safe about it. Mm -hmm. Let's hit the highway before that chopper circles back. You know you just gave up our only bargaining chip? A person ain't a chip. You sure Pa didn't tell anyone the cabin's there? Barely told me about it. I guess the motorcycle's there. And the food. See? Now you're looking on the bright side. <laughs> Ugh! <sighs>
God, the door's stuck. I can't get him out. He's gonna die in there. Hey, you hear that? Fuck! They found us. We gotta leave. Go, go, go! I think I saw someone run. Out to the cabin and get high. Where is it? Well, why can't I find it? The, the cabin. I, I think I need water. Somewhere. At the edge of the world lies the lost fortress of awesomeness. All those who seek it have perished. All except one fearless young adventurer. His name? Ash Willema. Famed for his courage, his honor, and his, uh, his... This is the story of his quest. No! Look, Shima! I drew the story about the fort. You know, the one Ryan saw in the forest? There are no forts in Arizona. He's making it up. No, it's true. 
He was out hiking with his dad, out by the ridge. There's a rock shaped like a shark's tooth. That's where they saw it. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, wouldn't it be awesome if we went looking for it too? We could camp out for the night and, uh, I don't know, do other cool stuff like, uh, like... We could light a fire and roast marshmallows. Mmm. Now, if you want to get outdoors, why don't you go ride your bike? And while you're at it, go get the mail. Besides, we can't this weekend because I- Because you're busy, like always. I bet my dad would have gone with me. You have no idea what kind of man your father turned out to be. All right, if you say so, whatever. Hey, buddy, you be careful on that road now. It'll be dark soon and you ain't got lights. Go get the mail, Ash. Screw this. Thunderstorms ahead, climbing to 30,000 feet. No, this, this can't be right. Ah, oh, Mom. If you'd come with me, we could have found it by now. Gotta be something I can eat. Come to Ash.
help by the ridge. Near a rock shaped like a shark's tooth. No way! Gotta get water? Gotta get warm. So good. Ah! I'd eat my own arm right now. Oh, man. Please, let there be a medicine cabinet. <sighs> Hurry it up! What's the news? Hate to say it, but we've lost them in the woods. <sighs> Send out search parties. And notify local radio stations. I want everyone in the country knowing the name Halt. Roger that. <sighs> the Halts. Think we're gonna catch them? I'd say 50-50. The next 24 hours are critical. So it just depends on how smart they are. I should stay inside.
That's the woodman's cottage. It was my mom's, so don't drop it. Are you the one who found me? You're in pretty rough shape. You got babbling about some cabin or something. Are you lost? No. I, uh, I got hit by a car. Where? In the forest? On the highway. I must have hit my head and wondered. Oh. Wow. Well, maybe I should call 911. I'd drive you to the hospital, but I'm not supposed to use a car. No. My family, we can't afford medical bills. Well, don't you have insurance? I mean, yeah, but you know how it is. They still make you pay more than you can. Well, I'm glad you're alive. I wasn't sure for a while there. Are you okay? You went to Two Rock High, right? I, uh, yeah, the high school. I went for a while. Thought so. You used to eat lunch alone under that gnarly tree by the parking lot, right? The juniper. Yeah, that was me. Tell me your name again. It's Dean. Hey, Dean. I'm Vanessa. Look, could I rest here a while? My head, it's... I'll stay out of the way, I promise. Hmm. Well, I guess I don't mind the company. But you have to be gone before eight, or my dad will kill us both. And just so we're clear, I once kicked a guy in the nuts so hard he swallowed his own tongue. <laughs> Good to know. Here. These are all, but they're clean. Thank you. <laughs> so... Why'd you leave TRH? You got sick of Mrs. Campbell always sending everyone to detention? Nah, I dropped out. That makes two of us, by the way. I mean, technically I was pulled out so I could go to a lame Catholic school and be told what to wear and what to think, but... What was your excuse? I didn't like being stuck inside all day. Well, what about Jim? They kept trying to teach me basketball. On that indoor court where the AC always breaks? Yeah. See? Much better. Phoebe, where's my sandwich? I'll be right there. Who was that? Oh, it's just my Mima. Are you hungry? You're gonna behave yourself today, right, Mima? Hang on, I forgot my cigarettes. You haven't smoked in years. Haven't I? Nope. We have some new developments in what police are now calling the Desert Dream Massacre. We knew one of the shooters was killed at the scene, but it's been confirmed three more are still on the loose. You okay with ham and cheese? Oh, none of those disgusting sliced singles. The gunman who died was identified as Dale Holt of Two Rock, who had a prior conviction for assault. Phoebe, I was listening to that. Mima, we have a visitor. Um, hello there. Hang on, I know that voice. Huh? Oh, Lord Almighty, you're home. Is it really you, Maddie? I'm sorry, we've never met. My name's Dean. Oh. Maddie died, didn't he? Yes, Mima. The things a mind can forget. Here, let me help. So Dean, what does a high school dropout do all day? I'm not judging. 
I'm just jealous. Spend time outside, mostly. Hike into the hills, go fish in the river. Maybe go hunting if the season's right. You mean kill animals? You know that ham was a pig once. It's pastrami. But all right, you win. Tell you one thing, Matthew made better sandwiches than ham. I made your sandwich. And it tastes like cardboard. Because you won't let me use condiments. <sighs> I'm going to go listen to Murder, she wrote. It was nice to meet you, Dave. She used to be my role model. She had a motorcycle license. She knew karate. Now she either can't find her pants or can't remember how to put them on. Matt. Matthew. He's your... My brother. <laughs> he died in a car accident. How did it happen? Spring break? A year ago? Matt was grounded as usual. My dad's always grounding us. So he snuck out to this party. Said I wouldn't have liked it. Though I think he just wanted to keep me out of trouble. And when he wasn't at breakfast the next morning, our dad was furious. And then we got the call. It happened on his way home. My brother died too. Kind of recent. How? He got shot. Fuck. That's... Ugh, that's horrible. I know. Look, do you mind if I study for a little bit? Finals start next week and I haven't opened a book all semester. Can I help clean up? Be my guest. You know... You were smart to drop out. I mean, do we really need to know three ways Andrew Jackson changed the U.S. presidency? Don't think so. If this comes up, I'm just going to skip it. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's just a plate. So, were you close? Huh? To your brother. He was always trying to protect me from things. Mm. From our older brother, from Pa, when he was on a bender. Your dad, he's a drunk or something? Was a drunk. Now he's fighting for his life in a VA hospital. Damn, your luck's as bad as mine. What happened? He was up painting a roof and fell off a ladder. The way he landed. Oh, man. I'm sorry. This is a, a horrible thing to say, but sometimes I wish my dad would fall off a ladder or whatever. Come on. You don't mean that. You'd understand if you knew him. He's a control freak. Ever thought of just leaving? Saying no to the whole thing? Where would I even go? Just someplace else. There is no place else. Anyway, sorry that got so dark. <laughs> hey, you want to help me study? Oh, I don't think I'll be much help. <laughs> yeah, you will. It's always better with someone else. Okay. Sure. Minnesota? No. <laughs> Wyoming? Still no. Oh my god, I give up. It's Alaska. Over three million acres of parks, all protected. Only place with more is Canada. Let me see. Okay, your turn. What? No, I Which don't- Which president signed the 1906 uh. Landmark Antiquities Act, created the Forest Service, 
and establish five national parks, including the Grand Canyon. Wait, I think I saw this on TV. JFK? Oh, come on. That was like 30 years ago. The correct answer is Teddy Roosevelt. Oh. And I am officially going to fail. So? You don't need some tests to know that you're, you're smart and... You know what? Never mind. Dean, that was, like, really sweet. <laughs> Shit, he's home early. Just say you're a friend from school. Actually, no, say you're my study partner. The school paired us up because... Hi, Dad. I thought you were working late. I didn't see another car out front. Who's this? Uh... This is Dean, from school. Hello, Dean, from school. Hello, sir. Well, I'm glad to see you studying. But remind me, Dean, which school do you go to? Huh? Uh, the Bridgeway School. Surely you mean the Bridgeley School. Right, that's the one. <sighs> Dean's new at school. That's why the academic office put us into a study group together. And you the one who sells her marijuana? What? No, I told you I stopped smoking. I'm asking him. I should go. You're not going anywhere. I like to know who my daughter spends her time with. You're a cop? I run a private security firm. His company guards banks. In a town that hasn't had a bank robbery in decades. Enough, Vanessa. Anyway, that might be changing. You hear about this motel massacre down on Route 66? Oh, right, on the radio earlier. Have they caught the people who did it? Not yet. Except the one scumbag who got himself killed at the scene. Uh. You sympathize with people like that. You're on the road to becoming just like him. He's not sympathizing, he's just asking. Anyway, it's not over yet. There's a manhunt underway. Once the FBI gets some sketches of this Holt family, their faces will be all over the country. Jason! Mm. I need your help with something. Don't you go anywhere. I am so, so sorry. I really think I should leave. No, you'll only make it worse. Vanessa! Where's Mima's audio book? Hang on, it's probably in the bathroom. Dad, have you checked her underwear drawer? Why would it be in an underwear drawer? Ask her! Hey, um, I really gotta go. I don't want to get interrogated by your dad. Thanks for saying goodbye, at least. You saved my life. I don't know how to thank you. You could help me study again sometime? Over coffee? <laughs> I always wanted to try a fancy coffee. Here, let me give you my 411. Call during the week. He's almost always at work. I thought I told you to stay put. <sighs> Sir, I need to get home. Well, I suppose I have no right to keep you here. Thank you, sir. My mom will be... Hang on. Why are you wearing my son's clothes? <sighs> I can explain. Look, I got struck by a car earlier. Mm. Vanessa found me and cleaned me up. A hit and run? You kids should have called the cops. We could just flag down the one that's been patrolling. No. It was my fault. I forgot to look. 
I was high. Are you kidding me? Get the hell out of my house. Yes, sir. Goddamn jokey. You. You're grounded. Jay! You in there? Wake up and hang these bush tails in the pantry for me. Son of a bitch. You ain't Jay. Come here. Ah. What the fuck are you doing here? Huh? Speak up. I, I, I got hurt. Where? Seen worse paper cuts, you pussy. Oh. Don't you hear about this place? Huh? Who told you? I swear, I didn't hear about it. You look a little young to be working for those assholes. But something tells me you ain't being straight with me. I am being straight. I am being straight. I promise. Nobody told me about this place. That's right. Because it don't exist. Huh. I reckon there's only one reason you came here, and that's to steal my stuff. I was just looking, but I didn't take anything. Looking, snooping, it's all the same thing. Where are you from? Uh, well, well... My mom's half Diné, half Maori. You dumb shit. I was asking where you lived. Never mind. And this mom of yours. Does she know you're here, thief? No. I sneaked out without telling her. Hmm. She doesn't care what I do anyway. And I'm not a thief. I caught a kid trying to steal from my wallet once. Got my knife under his chin. A <gasps> knife just like this one. Please don't. Why? What do you think I did to him? You... You set him free? You think I let him off the hook? Kids don't learn if you don't teach them. I told that boy I was gonna cut him loose after I cut a piece off him. But seeing as I'm a reasonable man, I let him choose which, finger or ear. Now it's your turn. Choose. Will, will it hurt? Ear, huh? Finger's what he chose. That's when I see tears coming. So I tell him, there's no greater shame than stealing from your own father. And as he was my eldest son, I was going to teach him some respect. Now that may sound harsh, but it's no different to how my pappy taught me. And afterwards, I said, you'll thank me for it. He never thanked me for it. Instead, he started to cry for his mama. So I let him go. Huh? Hey, Pop. You in there? Listen good, you little fuck. You know what'll happen if I see you here again. So run home to your mama and never look back. Now run, Meatball. Uh. Faster! Before I change my mind! Oh, what are you shooting at? Yes! Yes! A road!
Ah! Don't be broken. Don't be broken. Please don't be. Ah! Mom. Mom. I'm sorry. I should have come straight home. Adventure camp? Hope you and your boy have a great trip, Miss Willemma. He's gonna be so surprised. That's today. Oh, Mom. the sheriff's department looking for you. Tell my mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now hold on. You tell her yourself. You okay? <laughs> Jesus, what happened to you? I was... <laughs> I was looking for the fort. Ash, what are you talking about? What happened to you out there? I couldn't find it. I fell. Got lost. That's all. Ash? 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 Easy, easy. Hey, I, I got you. We're gonna get you to a hospital. I got out of the car. You weren't there. I thought I was... I thought that was it. It was that freaking helicopter. We circled back, but the cops were... I can't believe you survived. What were you thinking? Sneaking up on us like that. Were you followed? I know how to cover my tracks. You got some kind of plan? Beginnings of one. Dante's got an account number in that little black book. If it's what I think it is, That's then... for later. First, we need to get to Canada. Canada? Cops are gonna be all over the southern border, so we head north. You hate the cold. Don't worry, Jay. I got your back. You know that, right? I know Dale did. With you... Sometimes I don't know. I'll always look out for this family. No matter what. I'm gonna take first watch. You two get some rest. We got a long day tomorrow. Oh, 
you sleep longer. I was tuning up the bike. Can we talk about this Canada thing? We're not going to Canada. We're going to Texas. Huh? I know a guy in Eagle Pass can get us across the Grand. So, why'd you tell Jay North? Because he ain't coming. First thing tomorrow, I'll send him to Kanab. Say he's our scout. By the time he gets back, we'll be long gone. No, I am not doing that to him. Ain't it bad enough we lost Dale? Hey, you think I want this? That I want any of it? <sighs> we both know Jay was never exactly your favorite. But I still looked out for him, didn't I? All I've ever done, I did for this family. Worked my butt off since I was 14. Been protecting you from Pa from when I was old enough to hit him back. Hell. I barely even had a life of my own. I was so busy dealing with everyone else's. For 25 years, it's always been me. Who takes it on the chin? Tyler the eldest. The responsible one. Well, enough's enough, Ma. I ain't going down with the ship. There's two seats on that motorcycle, not three. And Jay ain't getting one. What are you doing? Leave it. Uh, this is crazy. I'll stay. You two go. You'll never survive out here alone. But Jay will. He practically lives in these woods. I don't care. I'll die here if I have to. Nuh-uh. We're all gonna make it because Jay's gonna do the right thing and stay. Why can't we all go? We haven't even tried. We've done nothing but try. What do you think this has all been about? It's time to get real, kid. You owe us. Owe you? You heard me. You're the one who stole that goddamn book! I didn't know! Exactly! Because you're always in your own goddamn world! Pa, he treated you like you were some golden boy. But you've been lost in your daydream since the day we took you in! What? Your real mom should have done us a favor! Tyler! Enough! What do you mean? My real mom? Mama? What's he talking about? You are blood, and I raised you as a son. So that makes me your mother. The rest doesn't matter. You're right. This family is my only family. Family? We're just your fucking babysitters. Jay! No! Oh, for Christ's sake! Shouldn't have been Dale. Should have been you. I'm leaving. You better hope I don't get caught. Jay, please. Let's talk about this. Tyler, what are you doing? He knows the whole goddamn plan. Jay! Jay! Don't you dare hurt him! Jay! Get back here! Forget what I said, okay? Of course I'm your brother. I used to change your diapers. I know you once tried to keep a squirrel as a pet. And that you hate Ma's baked potatoes. I don't want to hurt you, Jay. 
I just need to know you're not gonna tell anyone the plan. I was just angry. I, I swear. I didn't mean it. And what if the cops get to you? What then? I'll let them kill me before I say anything about Mexico. I swear it on my- <laughs> Get down here, Jay. I swear to fucking God. Jay, help me. Please. My leg can't take a fall! <sighs> How the hell do you climb so fast? I don't look down. Look, Jay, it's been a long day. I shouldn't, uh... You don't gotta say it. I know what I need to do. Which way are you gonna go? Maybe north? Like you said, cops won't expect it. Then good luck out there. And remember, when it's them or you, pick you. Uh.